Hello and welcome to Reading Hebrew Congregation's Torah Talk. My name is Rabbi Tzvi Solomons. This week, the Parsha is Parshat Noach. It deals with Noah. It's also Rosh Chodesh, that's the Jewish New Moon, and we're uh, having special Shabbat UK. All over Britain, people are doing something special for Shabbat. Now, if you want uh, hospitality, it's probably not too late for you to sort something out. Just turn up at one of our services. Um, Shabbat comes in at 23 minutes to 6. Uh, the service will be at quarter to 6 this evening. And tomorrow morning, 9.30, um, if you've got kids, bring them along for the special children's service at uh, sometime after half past 10. If you arrive sometime between quarter past 10 and half past 10, that would be great. Shabbat goes out at 22 minutes to 7. Now, this week's Parshat Noah. And as you know, Noah is a story that everyone knows something about. Noah was a righteous person, pure in his generation, says the Torah. Uh, no, uh, it's, but it says something very interesting right at the beginning. Now, let's start off with Noah's name. Noah's name means rest. Noah is, re is related to the Hebrew word for peace and quiet and restfulness. Nachat Ruach, rest of spirit, is an idea that every Jew knows about. We talk about nachas, having nachas from your children. That means that your mind is at rest. As they say, small children, small problems. Large children, big problems. So Noah, right at the beginning, is signalled as a person who is going to bring rest and peace of mind to the world. And that's actually what he does. If you think about what he does, right at the end, having saved all of humanity and all the animals in the world, God makes a deal with him. He says, I'm not going to destroy the world again. I'm going to create a rainbow as a sign so that you can all have peace of mind. And the reason that the rainbow is a sign is because it's a bow, like a bow and arrows. The bow over here, the normal shape of a rainbow, the arch, that would shoot the arrow away from the earth. And so Noah brings peace of mind we all have terrible ideas of what would happen if the world were to be destroyed, a terrible cataclysm. If, you know, today we talk about asteroids hitting the world, but of course the idea of a flood is not so far-fetched. If an asteroid fell into the ocean, that's exactly what would happen. And the last thing that Noah says, the Pasha says, Eilat hold up Noah, these are the generations of Noah. Now, when it talks about the generations of Noah, it, you'd think it would talk about his children, but it talks about them last. Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, but that comes after an enormous amount of description of what a good person Noah was. And Rashi says this is a bit odd. So the answer to that strange phrase, these are the generations of Noah, is that a righteous person's offspring are their deeds. Their deeds have an effect on the world far beyond any individual offspring, any children. And with that I wish you Shabbat Shalom.